estamos aquí denunciando a el señor John Foster porque, pues porque se está, él está capitalizando sobre la crisis que está pasando el pueblo de eh, la crisis que hay financiera y nosotros simple y sencillamente no nos vamos a ir, nosotros nos vamos, vamos a fastidiarle la fiesta a todos estos descarados, estos lobos que están aquí beneficiándose de la tragedia y, de, y del dolor de nuestro pueblo. En Nueva York, en China, donde estemos, lo vamos a anunciar. ¿Cuál es la solución? Bueno, la solución, hay muchas, en, en, entre otras cosas, la principal es la descolonización de Puerto Rico. Eh, la descolonización de Puerto Rico para que Puerto Rico sea, deje de ser una colonia estadounidense, solamente reside la soberanía política, la cual se va a obtener por la independencia. Eh, y es, es bueno, es muy bueno que ya estemos llegando, ya hemos tocado fondo, porque este, a ver si nuestro pueblo, nuestro pueblo despierta, y no solamente eso, es, es una oportunidad excelente para denunciar al gobierno democrático y Estados Unidos de Norteamérica, porque es tan democrático que tiene una colonia. Hace más de 17 años en el Caribe y no le interesa, no le interesa el dolor de nuestro pueblo. Y nos vamos a venir, vamos a fastidiar y si tenemos que ir al Congreso, vamos a ir al Congreso. Esto está, esto está empezando que, que aquí en la diáspora. Y quiero mandarle un un saludo y una recomendación a todos mis boricuas, tanto que nos chequeen los boricanos, como en Chicago, en Florida, en donde sea. Este, vamos a unirnos y vamos a darle caña a esta gente. He's a vulture. You know, you know what pitires do to vultures, right? Yeah. Cada guaraguao tiene su pitire, right? Yeah. Somos pitire. So today we're here because this guaraguao, this pitire, John Paulson, is taking advantage of Puerto Rico. That's right. He's got a bunch of billionaire. Millionaire buddies that are also hedge fund vultures. I wanted to say something else, but I know there's kids in the audience. You can say, you can say. Aprovechado. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that bad. Mamalone. Power 
other sides, podemos seguir por ahí. They're taking advantage of Puerto Rico's economic crisis. Yes, they are. A crisis that was not of the people's doing. Let me make that clear. The people in Puerto Rico did not create this crisis. That's right. People like Tom Paulson, people like the folks that I'm on Wall Street, uh, what was that, Blue, Blue Mountain Capital? A bunch of these hedge fund funds with the, these fancy names that have been taking advantage of people as far as Greece, Spain, Argentina, as close as Detroit, Puerto Rico, and even here. Right. This country. You remember the mortgage crisis, right? Yeah. When everybody was losing their homes, this guy, Vulture, right, was making billions betting off those mortgages. What do we call people like that? Criminals! So these banksters aren't going to jail. And yet, people in Puerto Rico are being made to leave by the hundreds of thousands. For every hundred thousand Boricos that leave, you get one lousy billionaire that comes to Puerto Rico, doesn't pay taxes, is buying up our hotels, buying up our beaches, using up the water. Using up the water. We know we have a crisis with the water. And what do they do? They turn that around on us. They say that we have to pay for it. Right. By closing down schools, by firing teachers, corporate welfare, by corporate welfare, right? They did the same thing here, they did the same thing in Detroit, they're trying to do the same thing overseas. What do we say? Hell no! 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 We we got no. Some, so we've got some, some supporters that have been with us through thick and thin. This is a battle that we know is not going to be resolved overnight. We encourage you to stick with us. Stay, stay focused on the, the Facebook and the social media and the emails and everything else. Because you know this is a long protracted battle. These guys got billions, but we've got millions of people that stand with us. Right. Not just Puerto Rican, people across the world. So without further ado, I want to bring one sister who's been committed to the struggle with New York Communities for Change, but also with the Hedge Clippers. Let's give them a hand. Yes. Yes. Maria Maisonet. Maria. Yes. Good afternoon. We all know what's happening. We all know that Greedy Hawks Hedge Clippers are the strong Puerto Rico. Not just Puerto Rico, as he said. Argentina, Spain, other countries. Here, Wall Street, when everyone almost in New York lost their homes. Who were re responsible? These lovely people. So now they want to bring down Puerto Rico. Bring misery on the backs of Puerto Ricans who are already struggling. Do you think that's right? No! Oh! So here they are telling people, well, since you can't pay your debt that we created, we're going to charge you triple of what you owe us, and then we're going to cut living wages. We're gonna bring it down. We want you to bring it down to 442 an hour. So you can barely survive. People have to go on long lines to get food in Puerto Rico. Can you believe it? Hedge funds gotta go. They gotta go. They gotta let Puerto Rico go. They went in there with the intentions and told people that we're here to help you. How are they helping us? How are they helping us? By helping their pockets? Making Puerto Rican a poor, poor country? Is that how they're helping us? So hedge funds, please leave Puerto Rico. Let us be, let Puerto Rican be. Our people are already struggling enough. All right, so hedge funds, go. We know what's going on with these folks. We know the economic crisis that Puerto Rico is undergoing. We know that Puerto Rico should not pay, should not be restructured, because restructuring means that the people are the ones who pay. What I want to raise is a different issue, a more fundamental issue. Puerto Rico is in crisis because of its colonial relationship with the United States. Okay? And we need to face that reality. The 
Puerto Rican crisis is a crisis of colonial dependency. It is a crisis of an economic dependency that has been going on for 117 years. And no matter how they restructure us, we are going to continue having crisis because we do not have any control over our resources, over our history, our destiny. We cannot trade with other countries. We cannot turn to another country and say, okay, we need petroleum. Let's trade with a country. We can't do that. Everything is subjected to the United States. So this crisis is really a crisis of the United States. Right. And right. the way that right. it has yes. mismanaged the colony that is Puerto Rico. Yes. Yes. It has mismanaged us. And it has driven <laughs> us into poverty and ruin. That's right. That's and so right. we have failed. The experiment of the Commonwealth has failed. Yes. And we need to look at that. We need to stop being afraid of the word independence. We need to stop being afraid. We need to stop being afraid of that because we have nowhere to go. You know, when you're down, you can't go any further. We are down. There are millions of us now in this country and thousands of more are leaving every month. We have nowhere to go. So let's stay and let's discuss who we are, what we are. Let us reclaim our heritage as Puerto Ricans. Let us affirm that we are Puerto Ricanos and that we have the right to be independent, to trade with whoever we want to trade with, to establish whatever economic structure we want to establish, and that we will be accountable for the debt that we Donde quiera que haya un Puerto Riqueño, tenemos que demandar que eh, uno del colonaje de Puerto Rico se, se pare y lo otro que esta guerra se cese eh, y que todas estas cooperaciones salgan de Puerto Rico y que Puerto Rico sea un, un país sobre nada. Eh, so, um, the message to the Puerto Rican community and everybody out there that's supporting us is that we need to mobilize and organize and educate around this issue. First is Puerto Rico. Everything first happens in the colony and then the bankruptcy is going to come to every state in the United States. Understand that Puerto Rico is a colony. It is not a state of the United States. This myth of a territory, an incorporated territory, is not real. We are a classical colony, the, the last colony in the Western Hemisphere. And we are saying we want this to end. We want this economic abuse of our nation to end. We are not standing for it anymore. And the powers that be, the government of the United States, and the corporations that run the United States, out of Puerto Rico, out of Puerto Rico, we want to be free. Todo el mundo puede poner un granito y este movimiento va a crecer. You know? Everybody puts a drop and this movement is going to grow. So I am making a call to action to the Puerto Rican community, the African American community, the Asian community, the European community in the United States to stand with us, to stand with us. Our people are dying. They are dying in Puerto Rico. They are dying here. And we need to put an end to this. Gracias. Algo también que yo quería mencionar en base a lo que trae la compañera. Primero, aquí hay un montón de puertorriqueños en Nueva York y en todos los Estados Unidos. Son más de 4 millones de puertorriqueños viviendo en los Estados Unidos y que podemos hacer el trabajo de lucha y de resistencia. Particularmente en Nueva York tenemos la situación de que aquí está Wall Street, aquí están las casas acreditadoras, aquí están los banqueros. Este es el ombligo económico eh, que está atravesando la situación de Puerto Rico y vamos a hacer todo lo posible para hacerle la vida imposible a, a esto acá. Pero también queremos decir a nuestros boricuas allá, vamos a coordinar el esfuerzo, vamos a trabajar unidos, que juntos podemos. Esto tiene una deuda eh, de 72 mil millones de dólares eh, a los bonistas de Wall Street cuando nosotros lo que estamos sosteniendo es que esa deuda es impagable por un lado, inmoral por el otro, dado el caso de que estos son bonos eh, que, le, que le llaman los fondos buitres, 
comprado a 15 a 20 centavos y que ahora están exigiendo que se les paguen a dólar. Son los fondos que están estrangulando eh, la economía de Puerto Rico y que ahora mismo nosotros estamos eh, y que están exigiendo que se les pague en su totalidad. El gobierno de Puerto Rico ha dicho que la deuda es impagable, sin embargo se ha prestado para tratar de renegociar o buscar un acomodo de la bancarrota federal, eh, lo que explota la situación y denuncia, hace evidente la situación colonial de Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico no es un estado de Estados Unidos y no es tratado como tal, ni se espera de parte del Congreso que sea tratado como tal. Puerto Rico es una colonia de los Estados Unidos, el Estado Libre Asociado ha colapsado por 50, más de 50 años se ha estado engañando al pueblo de Puerto Rico de que el Estado Libre Asociado, el Estado de la Colonia, era, era propicio. Ahora nos damos cuenta de que no. Se le ha dicho al pueblo de Puerto Rico por varios políticos acá en Estados Unidos que la, color, que la estabilidad no es viable. Por tanto, los partidos PNP y PPD en Puerto Rico han estado engañando al país por muchos años. Ahora queda el espacio abierto para que la situación colonial de Puerto Rico se resuelva eh, mediante la independencia. Por años se ha estado, eh, contamos con la solidaridad internacional de las Naciones Unidas, de la CELAC y de muchos países del mundo. Ahora nos toca a nosotros trabajar en esa dirección cuando se hace evidente que el, el sistema colonial ha colapsado. Trabajemos para eso. El ruido del cañón, nosotros queremos la libertad, nuestros machetes nos la darán. Vámonos, boniqueños, vámonos ya, que nos espera ansiosa, ansiosa la